So Brian from Mini says, Hey, Mary Kay, the Browns made an investment of over $200 million plus a ton of draft capital into Deshaun Watson. What Brian has wondered from the get-go, is this coaching staff really the right staff to recoup that investment? The more time goes by, the less confidence he has, not even just wins and losses, but also the scheme. Well, it's a great, great question. And it's hard to keep the faith in a coaching staff when this Browns football team has just lost four straight games and we've seen blown coverages, we've seen missed tackles, we've seen bad special teams play just week after week, just gaffes on special teams. So it is hard to keep the faith uh, in this coaching staff. I understand uh, where you're coming from. But I also think that excellent elite quarterback play covers up a whole lot of ills. If you have a quarterback that can go down and win the game in the final two minutes of a game or the final three minutes of the game, which is where the Browns have really struggled, then, uh, you know, you can you can hide some shoddy defense. You can hide the occasional 46 yard punt return or the muffed punt because you can make up for it. You can come back from those kinds of things. Uh, so I, I do think that this coaching staff uh, needs to kind of tie a knot at the end of their rope and hang on until Deshaun comes back. And then everybody, you know, let's all see what the Cleveland Browns are all about when they have uh, an elite quarterback, when they've got their version of Josh Allen or they've got their version of Justin Herbert. So uh, it's way too early to even think about giving up on, on the coaching staff until you give them a chance to work with Deshaun Watson. Now, the corollary to that is, can they handle a Deshaun Watson? Can they put in place the schemes for a Deshaun Watson? I think they can. I don't think necessarily, uh, you know, if they don't have what they need heading into it, or if they didn't, then I think they've sought it out. I think they've talked to, you know, his college coaches, they probably talked to Dabo Sweeney, uh, you know, the, they probably talked to Bill O'Brien and other other people that have coached uh, Deshaun. So I think that uh, I think they will be ready. I think they will be prepared for that moment. And let's see what you got. I Yeah, I mean, I think what, what everyone's learning it kind of in this process is it's really hard to play the waiting game and lose in the NFL. Like everybody knows that that that's kind of what this team is doing, but now it's starting to feel more and more like this is just going to be, even with Deshaun coming in the last six games, this is going to be a lost season and it's going to be all about 2023. And I think that frustration builds not just in the fan base, but it builds within the team too. It builds within that building. And we know that, you know, these owners are not exactly in a bubble. They, they, hear public opinion sometimes they get swayed by public opinion uh you know i don't think they're going to do anything rash because everyone is waiting for deshaun but you know i i just think it's so much easier to kind of play this waiting game when you're at least treading water and things are just so bad right now it just wears it just wears everybody down yeah even if they had one more victory right now i think that the whole vibe and feel would be different because i think we all felt that they really needed to hand over about five victories to Deshaun Watson uh, in those first 11 games at the minimum uh, to give him an opportunity to go out there and try to get this team to the playoffs. Now, who knows? Maybe he'll come back strong and hit the ground running and be ready to go, and they'll win their final six games. You never know. You never know. And maybe, who knows, maybe three victories plus those six victories will be enough to do it. Maybe by then there'll be some major injuries or something in the AFC North and it will, you'll only need nine victories to win the division or something. I mean, so much can still happen. The season is still young. It's the season on the, on the brink right now. I think we can all agree on that, but they just have to, like Joel Batonio said today, they've got to try to go out and get a victory and, and go from there because uh, they're